Hi everyone, so I'm going to go in the lab and we're going to see what Lina is up to today. So let's go. Hi Lina. Hi. <laughs> what are you doing today in the lab? I'm trying to start a new colony of mice. We have not very growing colony at the moment, so I'm going to make yep. a new colony. And, oh, okay. Yeah, if you come closer and have a look at the colony, I can show you how they look like under the microscope, actually. If I take a little bit from here, just a little bit. It's That is amazing. So these are all mites. Yeah. Walking around. Yeah. So all the moving things, those are the mites. Yes. And the yellow bits are flakes of yeast. And that's what they feed on. Mm -hmm. oh, we have another growing colony at the lab at the moment, and I can show you how to start new colonies and what to feed them. Okay. okay, so these mice like a lot of humidity. What we are going to do is add, take a container like this, add a lot of salt to it and a piece of tissue paper. Yep. And then add some water. So the salt actually prevents the water from evaporating and keeping. Yep. Um, okay. Same level of humidity. So the, these mites need a high level of humidity to survive. Yes, high humidity and room temperature of uh, 24 degrees. So I'm just going to get a few mites from here. So you're going to basically half this colony, even yeah, half yeah. it into two. Yeah, and then I'm just going to free put the rest in the freezer and kill them at minus twenty degrees. Oh my god, look. they're just moving. They're moving off. The yeah, look, 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 look. Wow, that is amazing. Yes. That's literally them just walking off. <laughs> I'm going to change my gloves now to stop any contamination. So how come you have separated them into two? Is that just for space or yeah, they space room and mm -hmm. um, also to make sure that if one colony dies, the other one survive. Okay. Just make cut them and um, sometimes you get fungi fungi or Okay, so you might have the other one still surviving. Um, the food I normally <laughs> prepare it in the bag and just keep it in the freezer. Okay, um, and what is the food? So the food is a mixture of whole grain, flour, yeast and whey flour. And uh, yeah, I just prepare it. In so the is bag. this what they would eat yes. if they were out? In the wild, <laughs> yeah, basically, as you can see, it's just like this is a mix of yeast, flour. Mm -hmm. These flakes are yeast flakes, and they love that. And then we use a little bit of um, aluminium foil. And what's this just to cover them? Yeah, this is to cover them, provide them with darkness because they are in a dark environment. I'll just label them with the name of the colony, the date, mm -hmm. and keep them. Thank you. <laughs> so are you telling me there's tens of thousands of mites there? Yeah, actually millions in this container. There are millions of mites. <clears throat> and you normally find them in your stored food like in cupboards, in kitchens, and they are easily overlooked because you may think that it's just, that's usually encountered in crime scenes, but the forensic investigators um, very often miss them and think that it's just moving dust, and um, this leads to them missing the evidence, valuable evidence.
<laughs> Bye. Bye. So we're done for the day. Thank you for watching. We're going home now. Yes, the office is empty and we are the yeah, last people leaving. We're really good students. <laughs> okay. Bye. So, <laughs> any plans for the weekend, Jess? Um, no, I'm going to relax. Oh my god, I'm not sure. I can't believe that.